Well hello YouTube humans and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Amy and I make videos I suppose rather, <laughs> rather than anything else. Um, so if you haven't seen me before hit the subscribe button down below, don't forget to turn the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads and give this video a big thumbs up so more people can find it. Today I am bringing you another foundation review video. Today we are going to be looking at the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I have used this extensively, hence why the bottle looks janky as, frankly, well, most of the other possessions in my life. I have already filmed the rest of this video because Muggins Me, if you've seen in some of my previous videos, I had asked up my camera settings and forgot to turn on my microphone. So not only am I out of focus, you can't hear a word that I'm saying for at least the first portion of this video. So this bit that you're seeing right now i'm obviously filming right now and the rest has been pre-recorded when i actually did the foundation first impressions because i'm an idiot and can't do anything properly so let's just dive straight into it shall we so for the rimmel lasting finish foundation this is a 25 hour foundation with comfort serum or whatever the hell that means um it's meant to be a skin perfecting full coverage foundation i have mine in the shade 100 ivory which at the time that i bought it was the lighter shade and is now definitely not the lighter shade and thank god it's not because this is definitely not the lightest skin tone um I do quite like this foundation. It used to be like my everyday go-to for a while. Um, I can kind of just about see that I've got down to about there with the product. I did have two bottles of this. Um, it used to be what I'd wear to work and then I found other things that prefer that I prefer and just work better on my skin. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not a bad foundation. I do quite like it. So what I'm gonna do is, as with all of my foundation reviews, I am just going to prime my skin. As per usual with my project pan, I'm using the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone silicone Primer. Can't speak today, I'm literally just out of bed. And I'm just gonna apply this across my nose, cheeks and my chin. Full disclosure, it is already like half past one in the afternoon. I've been having a very lazy morning, a very, very lazy kind of, I don't, I don't even know when I went to bed, but I didn't wake up until like 11, which is very unlike me. Um, I've just been having kind of crap week at the moment. So I just thought, sod it, I'm staying in bed until I can be bothered getting out and actually doing some work today. Okay, so now that that has set, I am going to apply the foundation. As with all my foundation reviews, I'm gonna do one half of the sponge, one half of the brush, so we can see how it applies with both methods. It's running down my hand quite a lot, so I would say this is a thick, liquid, verging on cream texture. And I am going to use my Real Techniques contour brush to apply this. I almost went in on the other side of my face there, Lord. To apply this to this side of my face. I normally do the sponge side first. I don't know why I picked up the brush to go first today, but hey ho. It does have a little bit of a fragrance to it. So if you have particularly sensitive skin or you're adverse to products with fragrance in them, I would safely stay clear of this. It smells, and I don't mean this in a bad way, it smells like my grandma's bathroom. And it's quite, for me at least, it's quite a nostalgic smell. It's definitely homely and kind of family kind of smell to me at least but I mean if you're adverse to that kind of thing I would definitely stay away from it so that's kind of like a light to medium layer on this side of my face um, as you can see there like it says it's full coverage definitely not full coverage because you can see this kind of scarring across like my cheek here you can see kind of breakouts that I have here and you see kind of some breakouts that I have across my forehead here as well it looks quite nice on my skin it hasn't kind of highlighted any texture at all it has done that thing that all foundations do which is go kind of dry and crusty around my nose but every single foundation does that so I won't really hold that against it 
I normally use a bigger buffing brush with this it just happens to be that I'm too lazy to go upstairs and go and get one so I think it does work better with a bigger kind of buffing brush in terms of kind of working it into the skin but it looks nice on that side of my face um definitely got like a little bit of a sheen to it so I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a matte foundation it's more like a semi matte kind of satin ish finish so I'm now going to apply the other side with a sponge um I think I used probably just under a pump on this side of my face and I can tell you already I'm definitely going to use a lot more product for the sponge side of my face just wiping what's left off the back of my hand okay and that's a similar kind of layer on this side of my face with a sponge this side definitely looks a lot more hydrated it definitely looks a lot glossier it looks a lot better around my nose on this side and it actually was quicker to apply with the sponge versus the brush i think because this is a slightly almost thicker textured foundation than some of the ones i've been using it isn't soaked up by the sponge as much and therefore kind of blends a bit better whereas it's almost harder to work in with the brush but i like both sides i think they look pretty pretty much identical i think this one looks a little bit better upon first application however i know from experience this side will probably if i were to wear this for the rest of the day last better this one so i'm now gonna go and in your mind finish the rest of my makeup in actual fact i'm just showing you an old clip and let's get on with the foundation first impressions hey guys so i'm back it is currently seven o'clock so it's actually 11 hours after i first applied the foundation i forgot to do a check-in while i was at work because i had so much stuff to do when i was on my break that i just completely forgot to do it but this is what we're looking like after 11 hours of wear i've had a face mask on and a visor for the majority of the day nice close-up of my chin i mean it's oily and it's definitely shiny but I don't think it looks too bad actually considering that I haven't powdered and I haven't blotted which I normally would have by now it's doing really well for a drugstore foundation like it's still on my nose it's still kind of on my cheeks it's still everywhere a little bit questionable around the side of my nose but every foundation does that um I'm not actually going to take it off yet I normally would but I've got a couple more videos to film so I am um, gonna leave it on for as long as I can I'll probably leave it on till about 10 maybe and I'll check back in with you guys in a bit hey guys and welcome back to my bathroom again um it is currently I can't show you but it's currently about 10 past 10 so I've had this foundation on my face for 14 hours now I've not done anything to it I've not touched it up I have not blotted I've not powdered I've not done anything and this is kind of where we're at at the 14 hour mark and I am gonna take it off now at this point because I feel disgusting frankly at this point because I couldn't tell you the last time I wore foundation for 14 hours considering that it is a drugstore foundation that I paid about six quid for and considering how long I've had it on the face the fact that I've been at work the fact that it's been raining today the fact that I've had to wear a mask and a visor I think this is extraordinary frank frankly it doesn't it hasn't broken me out anywhere at all i am very shiny i'm very very shiny but i'm always very shiny and to only be this very shiny after 14 hours is actually really quite good for me it kind of looks like it is starting to rub off a bit on my nose and that's probably down to the mask but everywhere else it looks fine like it looks like I've been wearing it for 14 hours, but it looks okay for my skin anyway. 
Um, that's a foundation that I'd actually had kicking around in the back of my drawer and I only really found it from doing my decluttering and organisational uh, videos that I did the other day. So I'm really glad I found that actually and that's definitely going back into the everyday rotation. That has lasted so well and the shade is now a lot better for me now that I've started tanning. So um, I can actually wear it without looking like an umbrella. So that's always a good thing. So that was my foundation review of the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I've got so many videos like this on my channel and so many more coming. So if you like this video or you've seen me before, hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up so more people can find it. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.